Yo, what's up everybody? My last video about building chicken coops. That was released about four and a half months ago or so. It actually marked the start of my daily upload streak, which has been continuing since. So I figured I'd make a part two to celebrate that. So in this video, instead of giving you tips and tricks on like the basic building part, I'm gonna show you a few things you can add to your chicken coop so that way you can have like the best, the best of results. So not only will your chickens be protected, but you can also, but it'll also be a win-win since it'll be easy for you to operate. So an automatic coop door, this is it right here. Now this can open, I'm not gonna do it right now. I could do it if I wanted to, but these are a pretty good thing. But you should still have your door, your main door right here. You should Anyways, continuing that with the door. Yeah, you really need to make sure it has a latch so that way it doesn't blow if it's like windy. And then you also need to make sure like your door is lined with this sort of stuff right here so that way you can keep the predator, not like the predators, but like the really bad weather out of the coop. This is a really helpful tactic to help keep your chicken coop safe. So another thing is adding these windows right here. And I really wish my rooster would stop crowing, but I can't make him. And here's some windows, ceiling. So that way, if like a raccoon like tries to come here and it's like, I don't know, like 80 degrees that night, you know, like if it was like 100 degrees during the day, and like is trying to pry open this window, can't do that anymore because this window is too hard to open. Well, even I can't do this because these things are attached here and now nothing can get into your chicken coop and now you can have your windows open without having to worry about anything. These can be installed in 15 minutes, so it's not that hard to install in your finished product. Now, this one I really can't stress enough about. It's blocking off any foam from your chickens. Well, foam really isn't that poisonous for chickens. You still don't want them, like, just like releasing the heat that's trapped in the chicken coop during the winter. So, like, when it's like really cold out, like negative five, negative six, and then you get, like, warmth in the coop, and they peck at the foam to keep it from, like, getting like warm in there, it'll drop to like 40 or 30 degrees in the chicken coop and they don't really want that so you should always be blocking it off with something like, don't know what that's off the top of my head, I think it's whiteboard, but you can block it off with anything, it could be plywood, it could be T111 siding, it could be this stuff, I think this is also plywood which is a severely bad example. Whatever you do, don't let any, don't even let any type of foam, whether it's attached to your house or anything get into the areas or the hands of your chickens. Now the last one I really want to talk about really only applies if you have, if you don't have like an automatic coop door, but it is still a really helpful tip and trick either way. So if you want to have, oh, oh my god, if you want to have a chicken like that wants to go out during the day and like explore the area, if it's like really cold and snowing and even if it's just cold in general, you can still have them outside. So what you need, you're gonna need some board that has like little holes in it, so that way you can attach uh, stuff to it. And then you can screw this into the wall right here, and it'll attach right to it. So now you can, ha and you might also, you need to also attach something to your door right here. So that way when it's really cold out, you can only have part of the door open. But it's still big enough for a chicken, like say, lovey to get out. Here, I'm gonna show you a quick little clip from a blizzard from earlier this year that showcases just that going into place where chickens were actually able to get out to the duck coop. And yes, it does have sprinkles in that video. pretty much it. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, so that way I can actually afford to fund some pretty big videos. Because the stuff that, because I haven't yet spent any money on this channel yet, I really want to, but I don't have the time and effort to do that. So if you could really help me get up to that stuff so I can apply to actually start to make money, it would be amazing. So now I don't have to mow a lawn every now and then for like pain stuff, and I don't even do that. See you next video.